Anyone can be a localhost god, but can they actually build something? You see, programmers are judged not by their abilities to code up a simple function, but rather by the projects that they've built. And so what I'd like to do in this video is just show you the projects I've built that have significantly helped me in both my programming skills and also in social situations where people have seen my application and sent me a message and network and stuff like that. But yeah, if you like the video, like the video and let's get started with the projects that have helped me learn to code. So the first one's kind of obvious, but it is a portfolio project. Now I took this actually from a guy named Small James. It was like a, I, I saw this tutorial and I like really liked the theme. So I just took that, but basically you know what it is like. Um, a basic portfolio page where you just describe who you are, um, where you're from, whatever it may be, and you just display your skills. That's really it. Um, now, this one I know looks the worst and to me at the time, right? When I started learning to code. Um, this was a huge, huge deal to me because I did something. This was the first real actual project that I built. And I was so freaking proud of myself because I actually made something not just stuck with a basic application i know this is in the localhost I, I removed it from the web i don't know why don't ask questions but basically as you can see i just displayed my project which i only had two, two at the time which i added and you can see a lot of mistakes a lot of beginner mistakes but overall this one really really taught me i think a lot of it came from this this is my first real react application i just realized i had a little project before this um i'll show you in a second but this one again it just taught me the basics of react i guess like if we go over here again the components not the best explanations and and formatting with all the uh css files but you can see if we go to the image overlay here we have functions and all that all that fun stuff basically okay i won't spend too much time here it just taught me the uh how do i say this how to build something that's really what it taught me portfolio project everyone should have it and it just really helped me now the next one's actually not a javascript or web development project but rather it's a python project uh, i actually learned python before i learned javascript which is kind of funny because i wanted to do web development i don't know what i was thinking at the time but anyways um i wanted to build out a war game where a player would randomize the number and or like a card you know it was like two three four five six the king queen ace whatever it may be it's like those numbers and the person with the higher number will win that's basically how it goes and is the, the the point of the game is that you have spades hearts diamonds clubs of each of these and every time it, let's say the, the user draw a five of hearts if they use it that is removed from the program and then you keep going until the game is finished and the winner who, who has, basically has the most points wins the game and i'm not gonna sit here and say i did this all by myself i actually got a lot of help but this was my first real python project and if we just run it by running uh python 3 app.py uh you can see which is weird to run i'm not used to this uh you can see that you can give them a name so nizar and let's just write nizar versus nizi uh begin the war so you can just start nizar drew eight of hearts nizi drew jack of clubs and you keep going right you keep going until you get a winner so let me just run it you can see war is over nizzy wins um that's really it i don't know <laughs> it's a cool application i guess but uh, i guess this just taught me just to build something a cool program with python I, I like python to this day uh but this is a real fun project and now this leads us to the third project which is voice Cry. i've talked about this earlier on the channel and um again this was another tutorial that i followed for react but basically for javascript um, all I did was learn it here in React, as well as before I learned React, I did some JavaScript project like a book tracker application, stuff like that. But I didn't want to include it here because A, I already talked about it and it's a basic portfolio. Uh, but this one really taught me how to use React. And if we go to the code, I can just walk you through some of it, I guess. So basically, let's say we have the homepage. Here we have everything from the start recording function, which, what is it? We're getting from 10 stream stream data. Um, damn, this is really, really bad code. I can't believe I thought that. I'm just looking at this for the first time. But basically, it's an application where if I press record here, um, it listens to whatever I'm saying. And then when I stop recording and I transcribe it, it simply takes what I say and it writes it down into text. That's it. And then when I want to translate it, I can do it into like, who knows, uh, French maybe. Let's do French. And then when I translate it, it will tr translate into whatever I want. Again, at the time, I thought I was writing really code. And looking back, 
like I just read a little bit of it. It was it's really really bad code, but I just enjoyed it so much. I've actually built something of value, and it's still loading. You can see there's definitely issues with the API, but at the time it was such a game changer for me because I never built and deployed something to the web, and for it to be used by myself and from from other people who were, who were using it. I was just really proud of myself. You know, people were actually impressed. I guess people started noticing my work uh, as soon as I built something like this. He's just, we uh, finally loaded. <laughs> and then this leads us to the, I guess, fourth or fifth uh, project of this video. And it is just a basic landing page. Now I've gone to different iterations for this landing page. Um, I used to have it as a landing page for just getting emails. And I used it as like a practice for landing pages, like where you'd put your email. But this one, what's special about a landing page is that it was the first time that I did something on my own. I didn't get any help from a tutorial, a video, or anything like that. I sat down, I read the documentation, and I really just tried to do this on my own. And the basic idea is once we press get roadmap, we get an email saying email sent successfully. In our email, we should be getting an email saying that you got your roadmap, you click on this link, and you basically just have the roadmap. The UI is not too complicated. And where things got really good was in the actual, you know, functionalities of the site. You know, here I just had to create this where you'd send the email to the user while also storing the user into like a audience and just, just a bunch of functions. I guess it doesn't really matter what they are, but I guess, you know, what you're trying to think of is that this just taught me a how to manage users store emails which is one of the most underrated things as an entrepreneur and developer to store emails get users emails stuff like that and it just taught me uh again design which is uh, i really like the design and it really just set off all my development this was one of those projects where once i finished it, it took me like i guess a week and a half and i was just again really proud of myself because i actually built something that i would use forever so now what i usually do is when I need a user's email for one of my projects, I'll just take the code from this function and then add it into my own project. It's really easy and I just fr freaking love it. And now the next project, I don't actually have it anymore because basically what happened is I got a new computer and when I was trying to transfer, you know, I, was, I, I cloned the repository, I didn't have the environment file saved. So basically I, I, I didn't have the project anymore and it was just a big, hassle basically you know it's just easier for me to show you this way basically this was a mentor application where you'd have fake versions of what celebrities and historians and stuff like that so let's say you wanted to talk to steve jobs right the main premise is you could talk to whoever you want so let's say you wanted to talk to who am i talking to here uh galileo you will be able to have a chat with the ai version of galileo and although this project didn't get many 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 users um this one was my first real application that a had some cost to it i was paying like 20 dollars a month for the ai and i was also um building something in public for the first time i actually shared my progress on this this is when i first started youtube seven months ago and it was one of those again that was a game changer it taught me a lot about authentication um, it taught me a lot about managing users again email stuff like that and it was just a joy to, 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 to use and it was a really fun project. And then here we have the Nizi Ivy platform. I've talked about this way too much, but you know, just an LMS platform. I basically took a lot from the initial course. Oh shoot, I have a paid course up. I don't want it. This is just a beta course, oops, whatever. Um, I'll fix it in a bit. But basically this is just a learning platform and you know, I'll, I'll stay for a bit, but this one just allowed me to express what I really love, which is teaching. And this project really holds a spot in my heart because it took four months to develop and I'm using it all the time. You can see in the courses area, I am, I'm sharing my courses. I'm sharing all the code and stuff like that. And you know where I think this one, this project is more important than the rest is that I had to use good coding principles for the first time. Um, because this is open sourced, I didn't want to be ridiculed and judged. <laughs> and what this allowed me to do is just force me to follow good coding principles. And I think here's where I really stepped up my game. You know, I think I was an okay developer before this project, but after this, I see a night and day difference in the way that I code, the way that I think and the stuff that I do, because now I can just upload courses to here and it's there. You know, I, I really enjoy this project. It takes Stripe payment, Stripe payment, Stripe payment. And it's just an overall great project. And I'm probably going to look back at this and think that it sucks, 
but this one was just yet another great project that I really enjoyed. And finally, the final project is obviously the Niziavi platform that's coming out actually very, very soon. Basically, um, it's a starter kit for SaaS. Uh, I'm on the fence about making it open source, but you kind of have to actually. But basically, it's just a starter kit for anyone that wants to start a software as a service application where you're going to have a testimonial section, a pricing plan section, a a, a hero section, a nav bar, light and dark mode, authentication. Basically, just all you really need is to input ENV variables, and bam, you have a great starter kit so that you can build your application off of faster. And I guess what this has taught me, I don't know. I, I can't really speak on that because I don't know yet, but maybe uh, documentation, maybe is the word, or like better coding principles because I have to... I have to write good code that is clear to people and I just, I've enjoyed it. This one's been really enjoyable, but this one has just taught me, I guess, the basics of writing documentation because I have had to write documentation. But yeah, that is the couple of projects that have helped me learn code. Um, again, some of them are good, some of them are bad. Frankly, I've enjoyed the bad projects more than the good ones because they taught me a lot more. But the large scale ones like the Nizi Abbey platform, which is gaining like now hundreds of uh, views per day, um, I just, I'm proud of it. You know, I'm just proud of it because it just means a lot to me. But yeah, the, all of them mean, to, mean the same. They're all linked to each other. Like I wouldn't be the developer that I am if it wasn't for the portfolio project, if it wasn't for the Python project, because those taught me what I know now. But yeah, if you like the video, like the video. And if you want to join the Discord channel, which has over a thousand developers, I'll leave it down below. And also, this is a lot of things. Um, if you like this video, then you'll love the video on the screen. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.